while you're alone in your houses, all snug and in your chairs. There lurks outside a monster about the size of seventeen baby black bears. Both fantastic and terrific and too terrible to be true. Last night it nibbled on your thoughtsicles and left big-ass footprints in the dew. You teethe your way through more dessert. Some milk dribbles down your chin. Unbeknownst to you, though, it's watching, waiting. Lock the door behind you and quickly grab the cat. The irony is just plain gruesome. It's on your welcome mat. At this point, the fear is crippling. The deadbolt starts to turn. You realized you left the oven on. Oh great, you think. I won't just bleed. I'll burn. For a second, you get real meta and ponder what lies beyond. Deciding, though, that you'll be dead regardless. You lay there, wishing only to abscond. As it turns out, we heard you and teleported your scary ass out of there. Into the dining room at 279 Hamilton, where you're met by a wooden hard back chair. And a table full of bounty. The season's harvest, prepared by and for you. Want some apples and pumpkins and cinnamon? All together in a stew? How about a glass of wine? Or beer? Or cider? Or gin? All have the right ingredients to ensure that the night is a win. So swing by our haunt on the eve of the 28th, dressed to the nines in ghastly garbs. Bring a dish, a friend, or a nice bedtime story. Or prepare to meet a fate worse than barbs. It's Barb. She died. Nevermore.